Hey guys, Gib Meister again, Gibbo here with another video. Um looking forward to the Titan 4 launch. Now today is the 7th of March. So over across the pond, you've only got four days to go. And next Tuesday release date. Which kind of sucks because we have to wait till Friday in the UK. Quick thought. Anyone in the UK who wants the game on Tuesday can just go and make an American account on the next one switch over um, you'll need a billing address from America uh, and you can download that game onto your hard drive and revert back to the UK but what I'd suggest you do is keep it on the US account while you, when you're playing it until Friday because if you switch back to the UK, UK and you've seen, seen that you've been on the Titanfall, you could get your console banned. Now I'm not sure if it's all running off the same servers worldwide. So um, it might have a server over in, in in Europe, what we in the UK have to use. Or it might just run off one of the Azuri servers, I think, which are worldwide anyway. So uh, I did it with Plants v Zombies. I did it, I got a... Uh, a Microsoft gift card in dollars transferred that over to my X1 redeemed the code and I got the uh, Plants V Zombies on a Tuesday as you know because I put a video up before it was released in the UK on the Friday so if you want to play it before then you can do that if you're going to download it di digitally go and do that on your X1 if you want to play it but as I say keep it on the US side of on your system when you're playing it otherwise you your console could get a ban but I know people will be getting the copies two days early obviously from these websites um, who send the games out early when they get it in stock I've had games two days before release date and I've played in which I've had no problem that was on my 360 though so just uh, if you want it if you can't wait for it I won't be good I won't be doing it again um, I'm gonna wait till the Friday until it's released because I'm gonna pick up the headset and the controller as well which I'll be doing an unboxing for and uh, yeah so if you want if you really want it I'd suggest you go and do that I did it with Plants V Zombies I had no problem I just got um, a friend's um, uh, American address I've got someone overseas who gave me his address and uh, and that's it mate so you can just do that and uh, get it downloaded get it done because you know this is going to be uh, mayhem when this game drops hopefully no no problems with the servers um, also, Microsoft have um, registered two trademarks for two exclusives what have not been named yet. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what these games are. Uh, I would love to see another Crackdown released on the Xbox side. The, obviously, we haven't had that. We had the last one, Crackdown 2, I think it was 2007 or 8, I think, when that got released, or 2009, that, I can't remember. But Crackdown 1, oh, hours of fun playing that. I really enjoyed that game. Um, and the other one, don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. There's a few rumours going around. Um, but I don't know. I know there's a possibility of another Forza dropping this before Christmas. Forza Horizon on the X1. You've got Assassin's Creed 5 to look forward to. That looks like this year. Halo 5 is rumoured to be... Um, being pushed until springtime next year, so we could be looking at February, March time next year. That was down for a 2014 release, but I, I doubt that's going to happen. But we've got a lot of a lot of um, games to look forward to: Sunset Overdrive, Quantum Break, you know, obviously Titanfall dropping next week, uh, Dying Light. You know, there's a ton of games which can make you know not just the Xbox One but the PS4 a lot better. You know the PS4's got its indies, um, which indies are fun. I can't understand why why people bash indies. You know, I have a load of indies on my Xbox 360, but uh, I'm just the next one guy. I'm just uh, I'm I'm not a fanboy. I'm just a Microsoft guy. I've always had the uh, 
the Xbox from the first original Xbox to the 360. They had four 360s with a red ring of death. Uh, obviously got the new slimmer version, which I didn't have a problem with for two years. So, you know, it's things are looking good. Things are looking up for this for this system. Um, Titanfall headset. I went in game the other day, my local retailer, and I think they were selling the headsets for £120, which was a bit steep for me. I've I've got these turtles, what I used, the, the PX21s, I, I, I use these turtles. So I'm going to be picking up my adapter next week, which I think it's... Uh, so have a D11 for the 14th. I think it might they might get released on Titanfall release, but I'm just going to pick up the adapter and use my Turtle Beaches for now. Um, controller, I've ordered a controller. They're they doing a, a great deal. A controller and um, controller and the actual game. I think that was 99.99. I think the controller's 54.99 on its own. Obviously, because it's a Titanfall controller, but um, I don't know. I just think they'd really they inflate these pli these prices. Um, what are you guys like with the uh, the X One owners? What are you guys like knowing that Microsoft have reduced the the console price already after it only being out for four months? Well, three and three and a bit month. Are you are you pretty pissed at that? I'm not pissed really because I think it's a good thing. I got a free game with my X One anyway on on release, which in Europe we did. We got. FIFA 14 or the Forza 5 bundle. Um, I don't know. A lot of people on, on, on these Facebook groups are really pissed that, you know, it's only four months old and... It doesn't bother me, really. So, right. Just thought I'd leave you that and I'll catch you guys later. See you in a bit. Bye.